something else we're keeping a close eye on, cruises. Uh, we have seen the horror stories play out around the world during this outbreak. And you'll recall, most of our local cases are tied to a cruise in Egypt. Princess Cruise Lines has just suspended travel on all of its ships for the next 60 days, but that doesn't appear to be a problem down in Galveston. Gentle 2's Bill Spencer spent the day on the island talking to passengers boarding Carnival Cruise Lines there. Bill? Yes, Jonathan and Dominique, here in Galveston, there are three major cruise lines serving this area. Today, we watched as thousands of people boarded a Carnival cruise ship to Mexico. And there are some changes in place you will notice when you board one of these ships. Even with several cruise ship companies in trouble right now, Princess Cruise Lines, for example, suspending travel for the next 60 days. At the port of Galveston, it appeared as business as usual, with thousands boarding the Carnival cruise ship Dream leaving for Mexico. Where are we going? Cozumel. Yeah. And I'm taking my whole family. I'm going to go have fun. They say live your life. I'm going to do it. Bob and Cynthia Lindsay of Houston just spent five days aboard a Carnival cruise ship to Cozumel. The big change they noticed, ship personnel constantly reminding the passengers to disinfect their hands wherever they might go. Well, there's a lot of cleaning and a lot of uh, hand sanitizing and that kind of thing. We're kind of nervous getting on, but really once the trip started, uh, it was fine. Another new requirement, all passengers are being given a brief health screening before boarding the ship. Well, they did. They screened us for our temperature as we got on the ship. As people board these boats, what are they being forced to do? They are doing medical screenings going onto the boats as well as coming off the boats. And with literally thousands of people cruising aboard these ships, Vita Young says she was encouraged to see the kind of special care that is being given at the restaurants on board. To eat, they had people standing. They, they didn't have people... Um, couldn't serve yourself anymore. They had everything covered in glass and they had people serving you. So people couldn't touch anything. Now, if you are going to go cruising, you should pay attention to the requirements that are now in place. We did hear from a couple of passengers that were boarding this ship, and they told us that uh, people with oxygen tanks, for example, were not being allowed on board. We don't know if that's hearsay or if that is a new rule that's been put in place. Reporting live in Galveston, Bill Spencer, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Bill.